What's up y'all, it's your girl Sia Marie here and I'm back with a new video. If you're new to my channel, you already know what to do. Smash that subscribe button, like, comment, and share this video with all your friends. And if you haven't already, go check out my most recent content. So as you guys can tell by today's thumbnail, yes, I am expecting another baby. And we're gonna be waxing my armpits today and we are gonna talk about it. So let's get into it. The wax is actually melted down pretty good i was waiting for it to um get to the right texture to be able to start so yeah and if you are new to my channel ooh, excuse me i do have a son named Jaden. he's five um only one that i have and i'm expecting another one i don't know if y'all can see my belly hold on there you go It's there, so yeah. And don't do too much on my armpits because I let it grow on purpose. So we finna cleanse first. We're gonna take a paper towel and we're gonna use this satin smooth cleanser. And we just gonna clean it up real quick to get us all ready and stuff. There we go. And then we're gonna do the other armpit too. Cleanse it on up. There we go. Y'all, it's so satisfying to do this, but at the same time, it be hurting. So, but yeah, we finna do it. There we go. Look at all that hair. Like, that's gonna be a good strip. That's gonna be good. Because who wants to only wax a little bit of hair? It's not even worth it. Okay. So, then we're gonna put some baby powder on my armpits just to help the hairs come up smoother if they don't tell you that this helps i don't know but this is what i learned helps so yeah okay pass some of that off we don't need all that okay i'm gonna go in with the wax turn this waxer off because it seems like it's a little bit too hot Okay, yeah, that's good. Ooh, that was kind of a messy strip, but we got it on there. They kind of gets a little bit messy. I see why they be putting like them hospital pads down at the esthetician places. Ooh. But anyways, okay. So I found out I was pregnant like a week ago. No, not even a week ago, like a couple days ago, like four days ago probably or so. And so I'm about a month and a couple days um, coming from like the results. Um, that I got from like how much um, they could like test from the blood they got from me. Like, you know how when they test your blood for how much hormones you basically got in your body from the baby or something like that. It's like called BCG or something. So yeah, basically I had about enough to be about that far along. All right, y'all, y'all ready? I ain't gonna lie, this should be kind of hurting, but we gonna do it. We gonna get that little strip. <sighs> Y'all ready? <sighs> Y'all, I do this every time I'm gonna do it. Like, I don't know why I'm acting brand new, okay? That was a good strip though. That was a really good strip. All right. All right, you're gonna do another one and then we're gonna do it. We're going the opposite way. Y'all, this stuff be kind of painful. Ooh. 
please when you're waxing your armpits ladies make sure the wax is not too hot because you will burn yourself and it won't be nice it will hurt even worse so yeah basically i had um about enough in my blood that shows that i'm about a week along i mean a month along in a couple days they had me like schedule an over the phone visit nurse visit or something like that because i guess that's what you do first i don't remember doing that i remember going into the hospital and them doing like an ultrasound and follow up basically um and told me like oh a possible due date or whatever but I guess that's what they do now. They do like either over the phone nurse visit or you go in and do it. But when they told me I could do it over the phone, it must not be that important to go in. So I'm like, okay, like I'll just do it over the phone. That's fine. And then I would go in to see an OB, um, the next appointment. I kind of got some hairs down here. I'm gonna get to, hold on. Ugh. I'm dropping stuff. my paper towel is stuck on there but yeah so I told them I wanted to do it um, over the phone we didn't get that much but we got a couple little stray hairs if y'all can see those I don't know if y'all can I actually see a lot that I missed so we're gonna just do that strip one more time Basically, your girl is pregnant. We're just going to go with that. And we're going to have to do some follow-ups with the doctor. Oh, no, I said, um, so the next appointment will be an OB. That's what I meant to say. And, yeah, I'm pretty sure when I go see the OB, that's when they'll do, like, an um, ultrasound and give me an actual possible due date. But when they um, told me the results of my blood and stuff, and they said it's, like, it basically shows them about, uh, um, month along or whatever I was like well my due date must be around May or June and I feel like I kind of got pregnant around the same time I got pregnant with my son because I got pregnant with my son Jaden when I was in freshman year um I was 15 and I had him in June he was due June 27th but he came two weeks early um so he was like a preemie he was a good weight he was six pounds um either 13 or 14 ounces, one of the two. Don't come for me like, oh, you don't remember your birth weight of your baby. Okay. Yeah, it was a little couple stray hairs right there. There we go. And then we gonna go upwards to um, clean it up. This strip is horrible. <laughs> Look at how horrible I just did that. But we gonna make it work. But yeah, yeah, I was really shocked because I'm like, yikes. But then again, I wasn't because it's like, if you are having sex with no condoms, you know the risk, I knew the risk, you know? So it was like, it wasn't like no real surprise for real but it was because i'm like damn like am i ready for another one right now but i'm like you know what um i feel like everything happens for a reason because the last time i got pregnant um i had an eptopic pregnancy where my baby was in my tube so i couldn't have my baby and i promised myself that if i got pregnant again that i would keep my baby you know because at the end of the day a lot of women out here can't have kids and you know what if further down the line i wouldn't be able to you know so i was like you know what the next time i'm gonna keep my kid if there's no complications and when i did go into the emergency room um they couldn't see me right away so i came back the next day um and got seen in the emergency room and they did a um quick little uh What's the shit called? The ultrasound. They did that um, or whatever. Um, wait, did I do it this way? No, I didn't do it this way yet. 
So that's the way I'm gonna do it now. I ain't even give myself a little flab or nothing. It's okay though. We gonna wake it work. All right. That was our cleanup strip. Looking pretty good. Ah, come on. There's this one little piece that wants to be difficult. Okay, that one is done. You, yo, y'all don't know like how long I was waiting to do this. I was waiting forever to do this. Because I let my hair grow out for like two to three weeks, depending um, when I feel like doing it. Like, but once I see that this at a really decent length, I'm definitely gonna wax it, but yeah. Anyways, so they did the ultrasound on me and stuff. And what was I gonna say though? Like, oh yeah, like they did the ultrasound and the baby was like about that big. They like, they seen the fetus growing and stuff. So um, that's when I was like, oh, okay. Um, I'm like, can I see where the baby is placed at? They was like, well, it's in the uterus. Um, and I'm like, okay, I want more in depth, like answers and stuff about any questions y'all might have. Y'all can, you know, um, put them on a poll or something that I might put up because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put like a poll up for like a Q and A. So y'all could go on there and ask me questions and stuff like that that y'all might have for me. Ooh, this one look like it's gonna hurt y'all. Oh, look at all that hair. Just look at it. Oh my gosh. E. But honestly, like I'm pretty excited. I'm not mad um, that I'm pregnant, but I was definitely like shocked a little bit. And I was like, dang, like, you serious? Like, you can't be serious. Like, when I took my pregnancy test, so I had got like um, the cheap little 98 cent ones, you know? Cause I'm like, I ain't pregnant. Cause it's like, I don't know. I just had like a feeling I was like, I was just feeling like, real like aggy like and my period didn't come my period was like late or whatever and you know how they tell you like that signs that you might be pregnant if you miss your period so i was just scared i'm like dang and then i was feeling super nauseous and just oh i just wasn't feeling it and then i went and took them two tests y'all and look i kept them these ones came back positive and then i'm like you know maybe i'm just tripping and maybe like them just the little cheap ones so i went to the um holiday across the street from my house and i got the eight dollar one and came back pregnant so i'm like i'm like nah like this cannot be i don't believe this went to the doctor took their test and they confirmed it and I was like, damn, see, what you gonna do? Like, but I'm like, you know, hey, you knew what the risk was when you was doing what you was doing. So, you know, and I am not a big fan of just having hella abortions and shit like that. I don't have no offense to girls that do, but like, come on now. Like, if you didn't have more than three, four abortions, baby girl, something is up. Like, you just need to go ahead and have that baby. But um, I've had one abortion out of my whole life. Um, and that was when I was younger. Um, but yeah, y'all, it's gonna be time to pull this strip. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Let's just breathe real quick. Okay, you ready? That was a good strip though. That was a good strip. That was a really good one. Look at all that hair. And honestly, I really believe the powder does help. 
I use the talc free baby powder, cornstarch, oatmeal, aloe vera, fragrance free, gentle, hypoallergenic kind. Um, this is the brand. This is what I use. I don't know about other people. They might use just the regular Johnson Johnson. But yeah. Yo, it definitely helps um, you get more hair. Because I think it's like it helps the wax grip the hair more. So I would definitely recommend when you wax your armpits, do it. But even like Brazilian wax people, they do it on their coochie. Like I actually wax my own coochie. But I'm going to have to have somebody else do it. Because... I ain't finna be able to bend down in there. And yeah. But y'all see we got a little few stray hairs left. I don't know if y'all can see them for real, for real. But I'm finna just clean those hairs up because I can see them. And yeah, we're gonna do our this strip and then we're gonna do a cleanup strip. But yeah, no, um, I don't know if I remember what I was saying, but basically I had one abortion out of my whole life. I was dating this guy. Um, it was like a kitty relationship kind of, but I mean, I really liked him. He was cool, but he was just like, I ain't even gonna do too much. Cause I don't know if he watched my channel. Like, and I'm not in the business of bashing people just because I don't fuck with them no more or nothing like that. But like, he was just one of them guys that at the time, I don't know about now, like I'm pretty sure he's changed over time, but he was just two faced and messy. Like, but, it's like it is what it is like i said i ain't gonna say too much but yeah that was the only abortion i ever had in my life not saying that i'm proud about it but it was like i just wasn't ready all right that was our cleanup strip a couple hairs or whatever not too many i don't know if y'all can see them for real all right and then this last strip is gonna be the one that is coming this way honestly waxing your armpits by yourself is like not hard but I honestly feel like it's better to do it with somebody just because like if they spread your shit like this and they do it and they take it and they do the little you know and they snatch it it's gonna go by faster for you and it's gonna be easier but no, seriously, don't take to the heart what I said, ladies, if you get abortions. I know some ladies don't be ready. That's totally fine, you know, or rape victims, etc. I totally understand that part. But it's like, it'd be girls out here really boasting about getting hella abortions. Like, ew. But it's like, I'm not a judgmental person. I'm all about being free-spirited and making your own choices and decisions for yourself. But it's just certain stuff people do that... I don't agree with necessarily, but that's okay because who the fuck am I to them to agree with what they do with their body? Anyways, in general, I am happy that I am having a new baby. My son is very happy that he gets a playmate. He was like, yay, I get a best friend. I was in here taking the pregnancy test and I was like, Jaden, no. And he was like, what? And I was like, uh, mommy pregnant, mommy having another baby. And he was like, yeah, I get a best friend. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> like, I just couldn't believe it in that instant, in that moment. But overall, now I'm excited. My son got me excited. So we doing it. We doing it. All right, so now I'm gonna use coconut oil and just rub it in there. And you're really honestly guys supposed to do this with gloves on. I was irresponsible and didn't put my gloves on, so. Excuse me. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. Hands are washed. Now, since I'm already got my wax, well, since I already got my wax out and on, I'm going to wax my mustache up here in my chin area. Um, y'all probably like, girl, what mustache? But y'all finna see. Hold on. Do, oh, let me cleanse this area. My place. So, 
he probably just want to see something or probably got some questions about something but I am rooting for a girl of course because I already have a boy so yes I definitely want a girl next and my little girl gonna be bomb as fuck like her mom period because who my son already <laughs> the shit y'all know the vibes but this waxer actually taking a little bit long to get hot again so i'm gonna come back to y'all okay y'all we back and i think the what i think the wax got a good enough temperature to where we can start um on my lip so we already cleansed this stuff as y'all seen in the last part and y'all i am too young to be forgetting what i was just talking about three minutes ago or two seconds ago five seconds ago like that is not okay honestly this should be hurting too to me and like i feel like wherever the skin is like thinner at that's where it hurt the most so yeah we gonna wait till they get a little bit hotter anyways let's talk about y'all how y'all been y'all know y'all can always comment down below and have conversations with me too because like i said i want to have a strong relationship and grow relationships with my followers and my fans on here um because youtube is something i'm looking to do full time eventually and come with a lot more content you know and branch out and i'm also open to collabing with other youtubers but i mean i don't know who want to collab with a pregnant girl right now but i mean i'm still fun but yeah we gonna wait till that get like a little bit more milky if you know what i mean like i'm a cool person to talk to if y'all ever need advice up dm me on instagram comment under my videos anything whatever you feel comfortable doing because i'm one of those empath type of people like i'm talking all type of people like random people come up to me and talk to me about random stuff going on with them i don't even know people you know people are comfortable with talking to me so yeah like you know um if you ever got a problem that you think i might probably can help with um give you some advice on you know you can come and talk to me you know um i ain't saying like come and trauma dump on me now but you know like from time to time you know if you just feel like you know you need some advice on something going on in your life like and you feel like you can't talk to nobody around you i've been in so many scenarios in my life and dealt with so many different type of people experienced so much so i have a lot of experience with a lot of stuff so a lot of wise words for people so just keep that in mind about sierra Cranberry juice is the best thing ever created. Mm -hmm. Y'all really believe it's a girl because the morning sickness just been tearing a girl up. Like today I got a sandwich with some lettuce, tomatoes, and cheese on there. Um, and I got me some sun chips. Y'all threw that shit right up. I had put some mayo, some mustard on there. That bitch was, oh my gosh, it was banging. It was busting. And then I had me like an Arnold Palmer. Bro, I was so sad. I threw all of it up. And then I had like literally two halves left. Cause it was like two halves, two sandwiches cut in half. And I threw all of it up. Then the other day, I threw up my African food, so I ate a little bit of it before I laid down. But I think that might be the reason I threw up is because I ate it before I laid down. But it's like I waited a little bit, but I didn't wait that long. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. And then I laid down on it, and the next morning I got up, I threw it up. I had potato greens and rice. I threw that stuff right up. I was just like, I was sad. But all right, I think it's actually a good temperature now, so we finna wax it.
Okay. Yeah, look at my lips. Oh, y'all, it be hurting. See, y'all, it ain't that much on there. It ain't really nothing on there at all. But trust me, it's hair there. If you see me in person, you'll be like, yay. Mm, mm, mm. Oh. Ah. Ah. Y'all can barely see it still, but I'm telling y'all, it be getting hair off. It be it be getting hair off. Trust me. Like the face hurts the worst. Yeah, I remember one time I called myself waxing up here and I pulled it with this. I damn near thought I snatched this out. I'm like, oh no. Like never again. thinking her whole lip be gone and not the lip yeah girl the lip honestly though i like waxing like i would enjoy waxing other people but at the same time it's like nowadays you gotta have degrees and all that other crap it's like I would just teach myself, read a lot of books and stuff, and try to do it. But nowadays, they be like, oh, you need this degree and that for this. And I'm just like, man. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Y'all doing too much. Woo. Yeah, this one got some hair, but it's like I'm mad that y'all can barely see it. Like, y'all. Yeah, and then it won't even focus for real. Like, yeah, like, y'all can't see it, but it's hair on here, trust me. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. All right, now we're gonna do under my chin. Went on my chin, and then we're gonna do under here. Y'all look how I squeeze my lip. What if my lips was like this? That should be so ugly, bro. <laughs> It's definitely some hairs on this one. I don't think y'all can see it though, but like at the top, some hairs up there. Like I'm so mad y'all can't see it. All right, now we finna do my chin. So we gonna switch to a bigger stick. Yeah, I just want to talk about, like, this is off topic from the original topic of the video, but I just want to talk about how I've met some amazing people, like, over time, like, in my life. Like, I've met some really cool people, and I'm not talking about, like, people from my hometown. I'm talking about people from other places that I meet in Minnesota. Like, I know people from all over the world, and I still talk to them to this day, um, and it's just like, man, having people outside of what you're used to 
it's it's amazing not saying i haven't met no cool people in minnesota um but it's like it's crazy like Ooh, that one was kind of rough there Ooh. that one definitely got some hairs i'm so mad y'all can't see them though like y'all see one of them sticking up oh yeah y'all see a little bit a little bit a little bit but nah yeah I'm gonna do this under chin. Like me personally, like I be just at work and I just be fiddling with my little chin hairs and stuff. And I don't care what nobody else say. I be knowing they there. Y'all might not know they there, but I know they're there. And honestly, I don't like going to the nail shop to get this done because that sugar wax be hurting. way worse than me doing it myself or nobody else but me personally it'd be hurt more yeah my son is so smart like he learned how to write recently in school um and they haven't even been in school that long my son learned how to write he know how to write his name he know how to write letters he know how to write numbers and i'm just so proud of him because he's really growing <laughs> and expanding in a lot of ways and i'm so happy for him and so proud of him and then it's like at home we work on it and stuff so that's really what helps him to be good in school and show up as a better learner and student and i love that for him all right now we gonna do clean up 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 we're gonna turn our waxer off this warmer we're gonna just fold all of this up i put this down this time i was smart because y'all Oof, child, the cleanup after waxing be too much for it to just be everywhere. So we're going to actually wipe our face off with our cleanser. Not yet, honey. I'm going to go make it right now. Y'all, she was out here, and I'm so sad I missed her. But it's okay now. Jaden, you want to say hi to the camera? Say hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube viewers. You told him we got a new baby coming. Wait, it's coming. In a couple months. A couple months. Yeah. Yeah, cause we're getting bigger. Yeah. They can feel the whole body. <laughs> so guys, so I got this from my class. Go back from I was class. learning good. Yeah. And watch this. What the? <laughs> Thank you. Guys, watch this again. Let me turn. Ooh. What the? Hey, Jaden, okay, really. You want to show them? Huh? Mommy's going to tell them goodbye because Mommy's going to end the video. So, watch this. Ooh. <laughs> All right, you guys. So, that is the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for everybody that always returns and comes back to my channel. Armpits are balm and we are good and set. 
for the next two or three weeks um yeah if you're new to my channel you already know what to do smash that subscribe button like comment and share this video with all your friends and if you haven't already go check out my most recent content i love you guys also my socials are down in the description below my main one is always on the screen for the whole video so go check me out and follow me and we also have our own instagram page for our youtube channel so yeah I love you guys, and I'm sending love, light, and healing to all who watch me. See you guys next time. Bye.